Welcome back to the channel, Bryce and West Fishing. Hey everybody, so we got something a little different for you today. This is gonna be a DIY, how to make a portable power box. So, before I even go further, I just want you to know, this box is not necessarily made for kayak bass fishing, or just kayak fishing, or just fishing. You can use this thing for anything. If you're going to the beach, and you want to get like one of those portable fans that's USB compatible, USB compatible, feel free to do that. You know, if you just wanted to bring it with you, if you're running just, I don't know, if you're filming your family at the beach or just somewhere and you just need some direct power, uh, the GoPro batteries only last for about 40 minutes. It's a real pain to have to keep changing them. So with this method, you could just run it for eight hours straight. Um, I've ran mine, I believe, over 10 hours, uh, no issues. So anyway, it's not just for fishing. You can use it for anything. So when we first started this kayak bass fishing thing, we wanted to run our GoPros on direct power, we got tired of changing batteries. So we started looking up the prices for these power boxes. So the first one we found is a Fraybill power box. Buy them, $249. Next one was a the most popular box out there is a Dakota, Dakota Lithium. Buy them, $249. And then we also found an Arc power pack. Buy them, $349. It's a little much for a battery, right? So anyway, we thought, why can't we just get an Emma box and run a 12 volt battery in? So that's what we did. So this is what the final product looks like. Let me flip around for you. Basically, what you're gonna need under that $40 price point, the Emma box, the USB plug, and then there's a 12 volt battery on the inside. That's it for under $40. It actually comes to $39.97, okay? Now, as this is at the $40 price point, in order to charge this battery, you have to open the lid plug the charger onto the battery. But if you add this on the back, this is a charging receptacle. If you add that, there is no need to open the lid. But again, this is not, you're not, you know, you don't have to have this, but if you want to spend an extra $12.99, you can add that. And then there's no reason to open the lid, but we want to focus on under $40 today. So what I'm going to do after this intro, you're going to see some snapshots. The first one is going to be uh, the items that you would need. Um, I will put the, the uh, link to all the items in the description. I got everything on Amazon. So the first snapshot, you'll see the materials that you'll need. The next snapshot will be the tools that you'll need. So feel free to pause the video, take your notes, take a snapshot of that. And then, uh, yeah, you should be good to go. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. And as always, thanks for watching. Question my sanity. But you can question my dedication. So Bryce is going to run run through the uh, material list here. Here we go. So we got an ammo can, this nice green color, 30, what does that say? 30 caliber tall ammo can. This is what's going to hold our battery. Very nice. Made in America. Then we got this 12 volt battery, Mighty Max battery. It's not lithium. We're not on that just yet. <laughs> And we got our USB plug and then the power source that'll run to there. So this is our less than $40 option, but for some added convenience, you can add on these items, which will make your life simpler. This quick charging port and this on off switch. Is that it? Yep. All right. <laughs> So for this, we have decided on the proper placement that'll fit this best based on, we put the battery there, and we get, there's the plug right over here. So this, with this diameter, would probably fit best right over here, so we could put it over there. All right, you ready to drill the hole? 
Let's do it. So, uh, for the whole what size drill bit are you using? We are gonna use a one and a quarter spade drill bit. All right. All right, let's drill a hole. Safety first. <laughs> All right, so we're using a one inch spade bit. <gasps> Let's do it. We'll save like right there, right? That looks good to me. Start slow. <laughs> in this USB connection. And now all that's left is to hook this up, wire it up, the positive, positive, negative, and negative. And that's it for this $40 piece. All right, so these are the wires that came with this USB plug, which we can use to power it for this $40 setup. It does come with a fuse, which is helps with the output so that it doesn't get over electrified. Over <laughs> electrified. All right, I'll roll with that. Um, so yeah, all we need to do is cut off these ends, make some female ends, and that's pretty simple to do. All right, let's show them how to do a female end because they're going to need this. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so like Bryce said, the wire that comes with the USB switch has got a fuse in here that we want to use to protect your uh, electrical devices. And on this end, this is all great. This is what we need. This is the female end, but the other end has the uh, has this guy. So that's not going to work. So we got to cut that off. There you go. So we trim back some wire there. So he cut that off, and he's going to add one of these female ends. So this here is just something that we've had laying around the house from just other DIY projects. This is very cheap. You can get this on Amazon for next to nothing. Um, like I said, if you're doing something around the house, you're gonna be using it a lot. So uh, anyway, so Bryce is, he's trimmed back the wire here and he's about to put on the uh, female end. Now Bryce has got a nice set of crimpers. Um, I actually don't have a set of these. He's got these, these, these can be a little bit pricey, but you can actually do this. Um, like this is not like a home inspection where you're gonna have a electrician come in your house and pass or failure. You can you don't necessarily need crimpers, but this is gonna make, crimpers do make your life a little bit easier. And you can see Bryce likes to do his twice. I do too. So that's it. So we got this end now and the fuse and the other end. So remember how to do that because that's really all you need for the $40 setup. He's gonna do the same thing with the black one, but for the other two pieces, the switch and then the charging receptacle, you're gonna need a few more of those. So, here we go. All right, so we're all set. We've got our wires ready. Bryce is making the connectors now, and we are going to uh, gonna try it out. Fingers crossed. And while you're watching this, folks, you notice the battery is sliding a little bit. Um, what Bryce and I do with ours, here's ours actually right here. Um, we put a little bit of Velcro on the bottom of the box, and I've got that on the materials list at the end as well. A little bit of Velcro on the bottom of the box and the bottom of the battery, it doesn't slide anywhere. Be careful. Oh, uh-oh, something's happening. Uh-oh. All right. So that's a good sign. Okay. Oh, it's got a power switch already on it. Mm, I didn't know that. Off. Okay. Well, that kind of eliminates the need for this. So the problem before was, whenever you connect this to the battery, that LED light stays on all the time and it drains your battery. So we decided to put a switch on it. I did not realize that it already has a switch. You wanna go ahead and cut it back on? So Bryce has got us all hooked up here. He's got the red on red, black on black. And we got the USB on the outside. Now, we didn't realize this when we bought this switch, but it actually has a power switch on the outside of this. So before we mentioned that you can add this on here, that'll make things a little bit easier. This USB actually already has that. So you're good. So without a switch there, whenever this is plugged into LED light, it's just gonna come on. Can you go ahead and cut that off? 
And if that stays on like that, it's just gonna drain your battery. So Bryce and I decided to add a switch, but with this USB, apparently you, don't, you do not need a switch. So let's go ahead and plug in the fan and, and test it out. See. Fingers crossed. No power? Uh, oh, no power. <laughs> power. Is it working? There it goes. Bam. Look at that power. <laughs> so basically you're done for under 40 bucks. Under 40 bucks. And honestly, again, I didn't realize that you're not gonna need that switch. You are not going to need that switch. Okay, close this up for portable convenience. Yes. There you go. All right, so last thing real quick we'll get into. We're not gonna add this switch because obviously it already has switch, but if you think about it, to charge this battery, you have to open up the box, you have to take off these two terminals and then take your charger and directly connect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this and mount it to the side of the box and hook it directly to the battery. So there is no need to open this box. So whenever you wanna charge it, you could just plug it into the side, it's directly connected to the battery. So that's the next part. Here we go. Um, so again, the deal is in order to charge it, you gotta open it up, take those leads off and um, hook it directly to your charger. But what you can do is get you this charging receptacle here. What we're gonna have to do is actually cut the end off here. And we are gonna put one of these on it. You can see that. So this part is gonna slide onto the battery and then we can pick up with the switch right here. So that's what we're gonna do now. And the chargers that we use, this is just like a cheap, this is like the cheapest charger that um, Bass Pro Shop sells. But if you notice the end of the charger, this is what we're dealing with here. So after this is mounted on the side of the box, you don't have to open the lid for anything. So let's go ahead and mount this. All right, for this one, I forgot to mention, you're gonna have to drill a hole. <laughs> so Bryce is ready. What size are we using for this one? We are going to use 1316. 1316. All right, let's go. That looks good to me. All right, we got our hole drilled. Now, the charging receptacles come with screws, right? So we're gonna put those in. I always like to start out with a tiny drill bit first just to help us get started. So we're gonna do that now. I feel like there was something else I was gonna mention. Oh yeah, uh, if you wanted to put you some kind of silicone behind here, feel free to do that. Also on the USB receptacle, just to make sure no water gets in. But when Bryce and I use these three, they're, they're just really not exposed to water. But like I said, feel free to add you some silicone if need be. So final test over here, you've got the charger in. Actually it looks like it's blinking from here, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's solid. I don't know why it looks like it's blinking. But anyway, I plug this in and it starts blinking. We are in business. Bryce, will you put your hand on top of that for me? Thank you. Or not blinking, solid green. Yes, charging solid green. So there we go, $40 power box. Okay, so very last step. Earlier we had mentioned in the video about the battery kind of just bounced around in the box. So I was like, hey, you could just throw some Velcro in there. So let me just show you this real quick. This is some Velcro that I got online. 
Um, just comes in rolls, kind of self-explanatory. So you can just take a few pieces, cut it, and you can see I've already got two pieces there at the bottom. Um, I like to put one on the bottom, one on the side, and then the same thing on the battery. There's the other in there. There's the other in there. So that's really all you need. And a lot of this stuff, like the connectors and the Velcro, just from kayak fishing, a lot of times you just got to get creative and figure out a way to make things happen. So the Velcro is just something we've had laying around the house. So now it's in there. If you wanted, you can... Like, you know, whenever you do your electronics, just kind of center up the battery a little more. Just make sure, like, if you wanted to do the uh, the USB plug, maybe over to the left a little bit more. And then put this one over to the right and center up the battery. That's fine, just so the weight is distributed. But anyway, if you've got that on there, I'll connect those here in a second. So now you don't have to worry about the battery flop around, right? It's just stuck. So... Ladies and gentlemen, that is the last step. And again, that part itself is even optional. So USB here, charging plug here, and now you do not have a reason to uh, open up the top of the box. So yeah, we'll do a, a quick recap of everything and that's it.